In Birmingham City Centre on the 9th of May 1966, a procession of Captain Gown scholars paraded through the streets to St Philip's Cathedral. It was a new and exciting sight, the celebration of the opening of a new university. Now, 50 years on, Aston University is commemorating that day with a celebration at the very same cathedral, inviting some of the people who had attended the first opening to rededicate the institution to mark its golden anniversary. This is a, such an important day for Aston University. This is a celebration of the last 50 years. And of course, we've been a, um, an institution of Birmingham since 1895. We were created by the employers of Birmingham. And so we want to celebrate in the place that we celebrated 50 years ago. It was hugely important because to obtain university status in a day when there were far fewer universities was a fantastic thing. Universities are created relatively rapidly these days, but it was a very special thing in those days. So everybody felt that this was a huge transition. Our transition after 50 years, we look back and we celebrate, we have a new Vice-Chancellor, but as the new Vice-Chancellor said, we're continuing in the same tradition. Our values are so the same. We're about business and the professions and we're about widening participation. So if you are able, if you've got the grades to come to us, if you're able to thrive, we will make sure that you benefit. The University's Vice-Chancellor, Dame Julia King DBE, also the Baroness Brown of Cambridge, presented a parting gift on her last Aston occasion. She requested the company of Peter O'Donoghue, the York Herald from the College of Arms, who presented a letter's patent an illuminated vellum scroll which grants Aston University the right to include heraldic supports within their coat of arms, a fitting recognition of the university's current status. Julia King as Vice-Chancellor has had tremendous vision. So, I mean, she could see that student intake to universities was going to rise. And so making the university a very attractive campus and making it very functional, uh, you can see was at the heart of her agenda. So she's done tremendous things, much more than um, the previous Vice-Chancellors actually, who were concerned with consolidation and survival. So very much more expansion in the last 10 years and very much more concentration on the visual image of the university. I think the next 50 years is to stay with our ethos of making a difference for the economy, to individuals and to society. I think that's really important because don't don't change a winning a winning recipe. I think that's very important. This is Emily White for Big News.